Okay, so this question is a right angle triangle. We're asked to find uh, a length given a length and an angle, and that means we're going to be using trigonometry. So the first step of trigonometry is go up across from the uh, hypotenuse, sorry, across from the right angle, and that's the hypotenuse. Go across from the marked angle, the one given to us in the question, and that's the opposite. And the one left over is the adjacent, and it's next to the right angle and the marked angle. The next step is to cross out the one that's not very interesting. Well, the adjacent has 7.1 next to it, the hypotenuse has the x next to it, the opposite has nothing next to it, so let's cross that out. Then we're going to write down so ka toa, and it's always the same. Whenever you use trigonometry, always write down the same thing. And this is a collection of three triangles that basically tell you how to do this question. Now, Next step is we go cross out the two that we don't need. Now we crossed out the opposite uh, on our diagram, so we cross out the two that have the opposite in, and it leaves us with ka. Now at this point, if you want to solve it using the formula, then you substitute in and uh, solve like that. I use a slightly different method. I'm just going to bung it all in a triangle and let the triangle do the work. The C stands for cos the angle, so it's cos. 37. It's always cos the angle. The A at the top is uh, 7.1 on our diagram, and the H at the bottom is x. And the way you're using this triangle is whenever you're finding the bottom right one, you do the top one over the bottom left one. So that's going to be x equals 7.1 over cos 37. Now, when you type this, type this into your calculator, you press the fraction button, then 7.1. Use the cursor button, the cursor key to go downwards. Type in cos 37, but make sure you close the bracket. The calculator will say it's, a, it's an error unless you close the bracket. And when I do that, I get 8.89016, blah, blah, blah. To two decimal places, that's going to be 8.89. Last step is just to check it makes sense. The hypotenuse has to be the longest side. Well, 8.89 is longer than 7.1, so it's probably correct.